we want to hear what's going on with you. Well, a few years ago, I went and got uh, plastic surgery done for my breast. The doctor that I went to, I looked him up. I did everything I was supposed to. You know, he told me that we needed to do a Benelli lift, and he really wanted to do implants with it. Sarah went in to have her breast made smaller, and the plastic surgeon gave her implants. It really speaks to the fact that breast implant surgery is a business to a lot of doctors, and a breast augmentation is a lot easier to do than a breast reduction. He said that the next surgery to fix this, we could do in his office. He told me to wait a year. I go back, and he acted like he just didn't know what I was talking about. It was a slap in the face. I feel for Sarah because she followed the doctor's orders. She waited a complete year, and then when she saw the doctor, the doctor blew her off, basically says, I, I can't help you. We would never do that to a patient. And for some reason, if we can't operate on them, at least we're gonna be nice and explain why. What are your goals? My left arm, I lose, like it goes numb and falls asleep on me. Yeah. And then I get a sharp pain that goes through my arm. Right, you so. have the most severe form of capsular contracture. This is a scary case. I'm gonna just be right up front with you. My immediate thought is there's nothing he can do. I, I think that we're on the same dog and pony show we've been on with the rest of the doctors. So let's go in the exam room and do a careful exam and see what's going on, all right? 